Hi, my name is Susan, and I'm playing through all of the Dragon Age games again from the beginning. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. And so we come to Ostagar, where the Wardens and the Army of the King will make a stand. But before the battle begins, there are a few Warden-related things to take care of. I'd like to take a moment here just to point out that this is the first time you meet Alistair. Sweet, sarcastic, funny Alistair. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I'm going to marry you. Wandering around the camp, you get to meet the other recruits, Davith and Jory. They are both different people with different motivations for joining the Wardens and help further demonstrate the type of person who goes into the Order. Davith is the rogue, not quite lovable, but a criminal who was rescued by conscription into the Wardens. After all, the Wardens are known for ignoring a person's background in favour of finding able bodies that can join the fight. Oh, I'll watch your back. <laughs> That's me. Jory is the opposite, a mild-mannered, duty-bound man who wants to do the right thing. But he mentions how he has only been married a year and has a pregnant wife waiting for him back home. We've heard that to be a warden is to be a warden for life and to leave everything behind. Davith was glad to do so, and yet Jory, as honourable as he is, is not quite able to, which doesn't bode well. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. The Merry Little Band's first mission, and in a way it's a test, is to go through the Kolkari wilds, casually gather some darkspawn blood, and find a cache of old treaties which allow the Wardens to gather aid from various groups in the event of a blight. We're also introduced to Morrigan, a witch of the wilds, who is not best pleased by the silly little men who speak fearfully of being turned into toads. What made them think that saying such a thing would make her any less likely to turn them into toads? Have you no minds of your own? It turns out, though, that Flemeth, Morrigan's mother, saw sense in taking the treaties and protecting them, rather than leaving them in a box in some unguarded ruins in the middle of a swampland area crawling with darkspawn. <laughs> During the mission, Jory and Davith start to show two very different reactions and they almost seem to trade places. Jory, who started off talking about honour and duty and doing what's right, starts to quake and quiver. Davith, who started off by not really caring about anything, starts to show that he does care, or at least that the experience of fighting the Darkspawn threat has changed his opinion. He is much more willing to join the fight whole rather than half-heartedly. You saw those Darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the Darkspawn, we'll die for sure. But if the alarm bells weren't ringing before, they're definitely clanging when the super-secret warden ritual begins. It turns out that in order to gain your super-Darkspawn fighting powers, you need to drink Darkspawn blood. Davith bravely goes first, and you may think that his change from rogue to brave warden recruit will be enough to make him successful, but sadly he dies a horrible death. This understandably freaks out an already wavering Jory, and his last sight is of Duncan stabbing him to death because the ritual is a secret and must stay so because otherwise, who the hell would join this crazy order? So then it is left to you to drink the blood and be the lone survivor. What choice do you have? But with great power comes everlasting nightmares. <laughs> At least you get a cool souvenir. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. To join the Grey Wardens, it is not enough to be good at fighting. Jory notes how he was recruited by Duncan after he won a grand melee. It is not enough to want to join the fight for honourable reasons. Davith has these honourable reasons by the end of this segment, and yet he does not survive the joining. Apparently, you also need to be incredibly lucky but you gain your power at a cost. Still, you don't join an order which has part of their motto as in death, sacrifice, without expecting otherwise. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. 